I'm getting to the point that, that I think that this will be a gold mine if you fix it up right because this whole, this whole area is so by the ocean and the south of France just has like a market like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, I would agree. I think there definitely is a resale value here and we could probably put 100, 150 into it and probably make a profit on it. Now we're, we're not looking to flip though. That's the thing. That's, 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 the that's thing. not our game. For the past six years, our family has been roaming around this planet. And during that time, we have had only a few rules for what we seek out for adventures and choices. They primarily relate to being good to each other and being respectful travelers, which for us means respecting the local culture and customs we come in contact with. With that in mind, we have learned so much about how we are all the same, but yet have so much to learn. Now with COVID-19, being a traveler is taking on a different landscape as experiences are more locally focused. Adventure does not always have to be about far off lands. For us, we're back in France and we are left with a big question as to what will world towning look like for us in the foreseeable future during COVID. As much as that answer is still unclear, we're going to take matters into our own hands and start looking for a more stable or unstable option. Join us as we make the biggest decision since we started traveling, either by making an offer to buy a historic home in France to remodel or by buying a catamaran to take us around the world. Good morning from Ron. Look at this place. We have we've only been here for like two days, three days just about, and we still have any unpacked here. We're just we're a wreck. We're so tired. <laughs> Jet lag is a really big thing going from Japan, but today whoa, sorry about that. Whoa. Today is going to be well, the wicked don't rest. And, and lately we've been pretty wicked. So we're the wicked. Alright, I got the address. Um so today did you already tell them how early it is? It's it, it's super early, guys. It's it, the sun's just creeping up. We're right there. still a bit sleepy seeds in the eyes and jet lag, and we are heading out to look at. Are we gonna tell them now? Listen, when we <laughs> said that we had we had an idea of what our plan was gonna be when we actually got to France, if, if things got really bad with COVID, um, we still haven't decided on this idea. No, because our visas haven't been renewed yet, and we're still kind of <laughs> figuring out what things are going. But. A contingency plan is is we're, we're going to start looking at what long term in France may look like, which means that we may be looking at some houses. Maybe maybe we're looking at some houses today, guys. Yeah. And the plan is if we do go down this road, our one requirement was we want something that needs a lot of work that has some character to it, but needs a lot of work because if we're in this kind of COVID lockdown situation again, as Avalon said, we need a project. Right. So the project would be lockdown and rehabbing a house so we may become a diy channel <laughs> oh my gosh anyway we <laughs> have an appointment wait. and those of you who are like what a diy project believe it or not i know you'd never know it from our life now but will and i used to uh occasionally buy property rehab it sell it or rent it or whatever so we actually do have some experience in this area but it's been a long time our skills are quite rusty <laughs> <laughs> This decision slash journey will take us far and wide across France and even parts of Spain. For our first stop, we're going to see two houses in the southern Normandy region of France. So this is our first town that we're looking at. It's a town called Garonne, France. It is, it is a, a town in the Mayenne district of France. Um, it's, it's like in the middle of, I hate to say nowhere, but it's like, in the, like it's 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 not exactly industrial area here. It's, it's just very rural. This town is three thousand people, which is really cute because we're not looking for a massive spot. We're looking for a place that sort of has this sort of warm sense of community. Oh wow, it's really pretty here. This place is super cute. And this is a spot. It's huge. It's a monster. It's really pretty. It is really pretty, guys. I, I think this is way too much house for us. Wow, it's beautiful. It is right across from the library. And the library is across the street. Ah. I have seen a boulangerie on the corner, a That's crepe shop. Here. I have not seen a cheese shop. Cheese shop, we're in. I don't know if we need to find another property. <laughs> we, we haven't got inside. I mean, clearly, we have to see this thing. And uh, inside, it's like a, it's almost like a museum. Whoa, look at that. This is a room. Whoa, that's cool. This is a serious room. So, whose bedroom is this now? Mine. Now, being that this was our first house, we had to be really careful to not fall in love. But boy, was this house unique. What do you think, Laura? It's good. This be your room? No, that one over there would. And that bedroom leads to like this. Look at this. It's like a. 
like my grandfather's bedroom here. Oh, you, with this desk, you'd have like consultation hours? Yeah. You see, the issue with this is that there's not just this floor, but there's a floor above with more bedrooms. So if we get this, we're looking at like five or six bedrooms at our disposal, which is by far more space than we need. Bed and breakfast? You never know. It just might be in our future. It seemed that every turn there was so much character and charm. Can you see the whole town there, guys? This house has not stopped in the slightest. Now we're oh in the attic God. and guys, I keep thinking about myself as where I'm going to put the studio for, was, for recording. I was thinking of you as an 80 year old man coming up here to do something on the road. There is so much space in this place. And this place comes with like all the original furnishings. No, if, no, no, no. It doesn't come with it. It's possible. If you want to buy it extra. Right. <laughs> um, you could negotiate. You could negotiate. Yeah. Does it come with this horse saddle? What on earth is a horse saddle doing in here? It's a decent horse saddle. Right? Right, Largo? Yeah. We'll have a look out the back. Okay. While we're down here. That's how you that's how you hand wash stuff. Wow, that's cool. Okay. This is a outside loo. Oh my god. Everybody needs a outside loo. That's a bathroom. Loo. That's what Adam in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well you, ventilated. You've got your own bathroom, Will. It'd be a bit it's like eclectic. living in a museum. It's eclectic. I yeah. like it. Will and I are really into making lists. Pluses and minuses, likes, dislikes, all this kind of stuff. So Yeah, we have a list. All right, so we're gonna call the first house Stone House, I guess. Stone House. Okay, Stone House. What we liked about the house. Well, first of all, what we wait, where's my list? What we liked about the house. I'm all, I'm all a mess already. Okay, we like the location, right? We love the location. There's a market. There, is, although it's not really a great market, which is one of the dislikes because it's not a huge market, but it's enough of a market. Right. So the market is basically a bunch of food trucks. It's a lot of meat. And that, that's fine. That I know sense. there's going to be cheese here. I know it. Oh, look at the fruit. The fruit looks fabulous. Oh, look at that. Um, the price is negotiable because it's been on the market for a year, so right, of course we love that. Right, we think it's a little overpriced, but aren't they all? Right, and we can always offer less if we decide this is the one. It has a ton of character, and that's what we both really, really love. All right, now it's time to head down to the basement in which we're going to find out where the wine cellar exists. Holy baloney, there's a ton of wine down here. Yeah. Are they taking that? <laughs> oh my god, well, there's got, like 200 That question's miles. already been asked and answered. If they don't take it, I will. And I love the fact that it's also kind of move-in ready. Like for instance, if yeah. we want to move in today, we could. Now there's like, we can do electrical and there's a bunch of like There's a lot of stuff that needs to be done. But th if we walked in tomorrow, we wouldn't be asking ourselves, are we going to be safe in here? So we're now on our way to house number two for the afternoon. We're lucky that this guy represents a whole bunch of houses in this whole area. The guy's a Brit, which means that... Why do I want to have this on? We're in the car. Uh, the guy's a Brit, which means that he's representing a lot of people coming from the UK because there's a lot of people that want to leave London and all of England because of Brexit. So there's a lot of like an influx of, of English speakers coming in this area. So as much as we like the fact that it's a cute area uh, and we want it for the culture area, there's like pros and cons to the whole idea of whether we want to be in an area that has a lot of English speakers because then it just almost like it demeans the, the, the cultural landscape of it because we want to live in France to be like in France not in a sort of expat zone but we'll see how this is I mean right now we're just testing things out but we're gonna see what this next one looks like This one is a little bit interesting because this is like an income potential like from day one I don't, know, I don't know how it's gonna look inside, but it's like two units, like in one, which is it's fascinating. We may become landlords to French people, even though we don't speak French. So yeah, this is uh, two houses, as they say, for the price of one. Okay, this is, is this one unit? This is, yeah, this is one, and then there's upstairs. Is this the other one, or is that This is the other one. Okay. However, Avalon and Largo, if you have vision, you can have one and Daddy and I can have our other, or not our own. And you guys actually could give the money and buy this with your own money. Wow, this is a ton of work. This is, this is a project. We want this, a project, Jess. This is definitely a lot of project, yep. But when you look upstairs... Okay, is this all still the first... Space oh my gosh. A lot of space, a lot of space here. This has got a lot of space, it does. More yep. than I thought it did a lot of work. pictures. Wooden floor. <laughs> <laughs> right? Be careful what well you ask for. Well ventilated wooden floor. Right? 
Okay, so right, okay. this place. Uh, this is number two. This is number two. Where's yeah. the door? <laughs> you know what's bad when you can't find the door. That's not the door. <laughs> There's the door. <laughs> okay. Okay, and now I'm stepping. So yeah. this is it for the yard? This is, no, there's another bit of the yard next door. You're stepping on the oh. tomato patch. <laughs> so this, this property comes with something a little bit interesting. It comes, whoa! Yeah, it comes it's with corn and wolves. Prickly stuff. Whoa. But it also comes with an external garden, yeah. meaning like, like, like a garden that's not necessarily attached to the house, but it's like public exactly. use space, but you get a assigned patch for your own garden. I don't know if I'd want to go to the garden to pick up stuff. It's kind of quite a walk. I think your clothing would survive. Right? So this is the garden here. Yeah, this is the garden. You need a machete to start with. Oh look, it's got a pear tree. <laughs> yeah, it's got, and some nice pears. Yeah, yeah the bit of the fruits and the bin nuts there always is in these gardens. This is interesting. Your vision oh, no. goggles are working just fine. All right, house number two. House number two, the, the, the two for one house. Two for one. So the thing that attracted us to this one is that the price is pretty low until you get in and see it and then you go, it's not low enough. It's 45K, but it's not worth more than no. 25k. I mean, I it gets good light. It gets really good light. It's it's a little loud because it's on a main street and it's a really small village um, and it needs a crap load of work. But and that's a technical term. That's that's a that's a real that's a um, d investor developer term crap load. But it is a right. What's I would the word? say it's a project. Every realtor we talk to, whenever they see something, they're like, oh, it's a project. Yeah, Meaning, I think project. <laughs> it's, it's an empty your bank account and figure out what you have left so you can go ahead and get some food because there's not much left. I think project is being really kind. I was going to say massive. something else, but it's... It's cute, though. It, has, it actually it's, has... It's super cute. It needs a ton of work. Yeah. A ton. But it has yeah. potential. It's We have vision, and I could see how it could be something, but like Avalon was saying, and Will was saying that it could be something, but if the town is really, really small. Right. There's like a doctor, a baker, and that's pretty much it. And then and the guy who makes hard apple cider. Yeah, well, that's kind of nice. That, that's the only thing that's nearby that we We did buy like, some of that. Yeah, we can say, oh, okay. We know, could drive there from here, we could, we could stagger back. With two houses under our belt, each offering a different possibility, it was time to get back in the car and head south to the Montpellier region to look at a house that floats. And World Towning season 85 is going to possibly be. I don't know. This is season. I think we have to like denote them as seasons of what we're doing, like season RV, season oh living someplace for nine to twelve months, and this may actually be season of 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 floating, sailing. Well, Who sailing. knows? But well, we're looking at different places. I mean, we may be in a boat. We may be in a house. We still don't know yet. And that's the problem. So it's kind of crazy not knowing. I have a feeling that I'm going to turn around and Evelyn's making faces back there and like, oh. no, yes, or she just chomping her bag yet. <laughs> there, there's a lot of anxiety going on now because we're, we're not ones to like not knowing what the next step is, even though it seems like we're flying by the seat of our pants. <laughs> but, we usually do know the next step at least a year in advance, right? right? But for this COVID type, type world where you don't know what, what's the possibility of, we, we, we still have this like... We don't know what's going to happen next month. Right, because we did have a plan. We had an Asia plan for a year and then sailing. And now it could just be like flip-flopped. And now it's it's a France plan with, with maybe a twist of a boat. Oh, my bag is squeaking. That's so annoying. <laughs> I sound like, you know, like the little old lady with the squeaky couch or the squeaky shoes. I'm officially that now. This boat that we're looking at is a broad blue 38, which for boating purist was known as the Prout 38. She is named Friendship and is a solid catamaran, highly capable of ocean crossings. Oh, it could be that one? No, that, no. that's way too big. But why not that one? Why not that big one? Mm -hmm. How much do you have in the bank? Friendship was being sold by the owner directly. As such, there were no broker fees involved, and so we were given the grand tour by Katie and Lester, who have called Friendship home for the last two years. It's cute. Normal friendships are better than normal ships. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. It's cozy. At this point, we're just oh, looking. Wow. So on the um, starboard side, there are two bedrooms, and it is a one and three quarter over here on this end, 
And then on, no, uh, right. on the other right. side, yeah. it's actually that's the one and three quarter. Whoa, here I am thinking. No, that's a three quarter. That's the three quarter, right? This is a full. That's okay, a so this is a three quarter over here. I'm, I'm getting so confused. And then on the other end, over there where Avalon was, that's actually a full double. Would this be your room, Avalon? This one, probably. And then in mid, in the mid pontoon, we have a kitchen, which is actually pretty cute. Um, I think we're gonna need a second fridge. It's kind of It's a medic, but I think, well, the way our kids eat. Let's see, where can we put another one? In our bedroom. <laughs> and then we're on the port side. Look at this. This is the master area. So this is the owner's version, which means there's only three cabins, which means on the port side, there's just a bedroom. And then this is like the massive master bathroom. Now what they've done here, instead of going ahead and putting like a bathroom with, with like a toilet here and then another room for a shower, they've converted that into a, an area with the water maker down below. So it comes with a water maker, which is really cool. And also comes with a washing machine, which is even more of a bonus because quite frankly, we're kind of tired. <laughs> <laughs> going to laundromats and I can imagine if you're on a boat it's gonna be even more tedious to actually have to go to a laundromat all the time where's the shower shower is right <laughs> where's the shower <laughs> I think it goes here it does go there maybe this goes up top where are we going oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, no, no. Yep. I just I that was the thing in the RV I hated having the shower as part of the like bathroom area but I think so you could put a curtain here, I guess, and do it within the space like right. this. Or we just shower in the ocean <laughs> and then rinse off outside. Right. Obviously not in a port like this. That might be quite disturbing, but oh, that's a real toilet. It's, it's an electric toilet right there too, <gasps> which is nice. really cool. So that's that, really nice. That. Yeah, that, that's kind of new. Now here's the thing about visiting the first boat you're looking at buying, especially if you don't know anything. You have to hope that the sellers are honest because you will believe anything. And you also have to hope that they're patient because you will ask every question under the sun. So you get 20 horsepower out of each or you get 40, 40 out of each? He's a 40. The standard fitting okay. is 20s, but the owner, when he had it built, it put 40s in because it was in England and there's a big tidal race in England, there's eight meter tides. So he wanted something that could punch through the tides when, you know, if you had to come back in. So you help, so you can do a decent speed on these things. Eight and a half, nine knots. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it flies. Absolutely flies. Yeah. So how much of the how much of this is a full time job of taking care of the boat? How many hours? Yeah, a week. Two. Two hours a week. Yeah. That's, That's yeah. it. No, yeah. I, he's saying it's six Avalon. Mom. What? You heard <laughs> yeah. him. A couple of hours a week. A couple hours well, we're here. looking for a long yeah. list of boat yeah. chores for them. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's lots of little chores. Don't worry. This, did you hear? Yeah. She says yeah. she's a clean freak. We would keep the boat at the same yeah. standard. That's probably 10 oh. hours a week. Okay, there yeah. you go. Yeah. Yeah. Five Thank you. So we're, we're, we're doing the walk, the nice steady I, I, I poker face walk because we don't know whether we don't we don't know whether anyone knows anyone here. So we're just trying to go ahead and walk away. We saw the boat. All right, I'm gonna be real frank. We don't hate the boat. I love the boat. She loved the boat. I, this, this is like the first time we actually sort of were together. So I, we really well, did love the boat. We just got off the boat like 30 seconds ago. Will and I have been separate in the boat talking about different things. They were like a divide and conquer, the, the wife. She was wooing, wooing me, he was wooing Will. I know. <gasps> and now there's a dog right there. But essentially, um, She's 38 feet. She fits all four of us. We have a couple of wants that we're not getting on there, but then there's a couple things I didn't know I want that come on there. So I thought we could be fine without. Um, and, and what I love about it more than anything else is that it is basically like they're selling it with like everything. It's turnkey. It. There's four large jackets there. All, all the stuff you say, all the cooking stuff and all this kind of thing. Right. It's all staying. All the, all the clubs, glasses. You know, these are staying, everything's staying. We've got three sets of double bedding and pillows with covers that will all stay. Awesome. All of our baking bits and bobs, um, little covers. For someone who doesn't cook or bake much, you got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Well, oh, the pedal board's coming with it as well. Oh, okay. Toaster and three pans and just a few bits and bobs, that's all staying. Okay. Except the room. No, you take. No, well, I'll leave you a bottle. <laughs> I'll leave you a bottle. And so, I can't even remember half the stuff she told me so, uh, to be able to tell you, but I was shocked at all the stuff that was hold being Hold on, let me make sure this thing's up like that. Okay, there we go. 
sorry. So basically, um, I think it's perfect. I think so too. I, I think it's perfect. Okay, I, we're not done yet, people. This is this is this I'm is the hard part boat. because it's so easy to get wrapped up in a moment and say, "Oh my gosh, I'm so in love." I think the boat comes with some really great energy, um, and I know you don't care about that. No, I love but, it. But but I feel it feels has a good flow to it. It's very zen feeling. It gets a ton of light. Um, it's just I just I really loved everything about it. And two of the things that were concerning me is that we really wanted some, we really wanted four cabins. Um, it's only three. And I wanted a galley that was up, but this one is, is it's still kind of open concept, just down in the, what's that called? In like, in one of the hulls. In one of the hulls. Um, <laughs> we're, st <laughs> we're still learning all the lingo. Um, and it was, it was wonderful. It was a wonderful kitchen. I mean, we come from RV living and then living in Japan with just a hot plate. So that kitchen feels like, it feels like a mansion to me. It was fabulous. I think yeah, that, uh, there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to talk about. Yep. Well, I'm sorry. All right, back in the car. Yes. Notice this, we have two cameras going on here. And you might notice also, Jessica actually carried one for a while. So this is, listen, we're breaking ground all over the place. Um, I don't think I did a very good job with that, by the way. I think you did a great job with that, just because oh. you actually did it. All right, let's get out of here. Does that mean you guys like the boat? Uh, my thoughts were that the bedrooms were tiny. No, there wasn't a perfect bedroom. I mean, like, what do you I mean liked, it wasn't a perfect I liked bedroom? both of them so much, I'd want both of them. Yeah. Well, the good thing is we don't have much stuff, so you don't need much storage. Exactly. That's <laughs> what I told Avalon. Largo, what's your thought? What do you think? Um, I like the dinghy. <laughs> there you go. So in other words, you want something smaller. Yeah. Is it, that's your idea. No. Now, since we were already in the neighborhood, meaning the south of France, there was another listing that came up for a house which was only 30 minutes from the beach. The agent said it would be a project, so we had to check it out. So we're going on our next stop, which is, once again, this is not sort of a, I see one house, I see two houses, I see one boat, and we're done. We're actually doing our best to make this thing a, a thought out, well-received process that all of us can agree on. And so to do that, we have to look at a lot of things. You have to see, you have to basically sniff a lot of flowers to get the right scent. We have to look at more than one house and more right. than one boat. So today we're going to look at another house, which looks- Today, me, like the same day, we're still wearing the same clothing. <laughs> this one's a, this one's over our budget for sure. Um, but you never know. And we're in the middle of, of vineyards, like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. So if you want a sip of something, you can pick your own grapes. I'm channeling They may be someone else's grapes, but whatever. <laughs> So this is the entire thing? This? We, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all that? Yeah. yeah. It's big. Oh my gosh. It is a big house. <laughs> okay. So at this point, we're basically deciding whether we want to go into an even bigger house. This is insane. How big is this thing? I don't know. Uh, the, the square meters? Yes. It's 180. Square meters. 180 square meters. Yes. I don't remember how much the other one was. Do you remember how much it was? I don't know. So it's about 2,000 square feet around there. Which wow, actually looks... Really big. Oh. Looks like it's... We'll find out. Now remember guys, I told you oh this needs a lot of work. Nice entrance. I Big living room. Yes. Wow. Look at this. This is a monster. This is too much space. <laughs> guys, that's our first project. Let's see what that is. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Like wow. you see on the comparison? Isn't this beautiful? When we were thinking of getting a house that was a fixer, one of the things that we knew the kids would be able to tackle is wallpaper removal. And in the case of this house, we knew that they would not be in a state of lacking for things to do for a really long time. So the way that this place is laid out, um, there's a lot of living space. I'm not sure though, during the entire like repair process, whether we can live in here while we're doing it. And that's gonna be like a huge sort of Evaluating point is whether we can do this. Um, would you want to live in here while we're fixing this place up? I don't know. We said we wanted a project, and now look at this. This is a pretty big one. This is a really big project. That is so much wallpaper. Oh my gosh. Um, 
And, and this is not just like wallpaper that goes sort of in one room, but it goes all the way up to the top. This is, wow. And then of course the wallpaper, like anything else, all the way up there too. I mean, this is like, we're gonna have like a history lesson wallpaper if we buy this thing. Back in the 19th century, they had this floral print and then in the 20th century, they moved on to wherever the heck that is. So that's another house down. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm just, for the south of France, I understand the south of France is very desirable real estate wise. That is way too much money for that house. It needs so much work. It needs a new roof. It has a ton of water damage, a bunch of mold ceilings falling in you see I'm, I'm getting to the point where i'm actually getting excited by the more the project the the more fun it's going to be if the price reflects it but if that price was half the price i'd say it'd be worth it to make our evaluation complete we made an appointment to squeeze in just one more boat this one was also a broad blue specifically a 2006 broad blue 385 named amazing grace and to reach this last boat we had to drive further south to spain i know crazy we definitely knew that when we were done with the house hunting, a serious rest would be needed. There she is. Oh, hello, cutie. <laughs> Does the dog come with the boat? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell the difference between the models of the broad blues at this point. Because yeah. We've seen a couple at this we point. We like the broad blue yeah, a lot. They're, they're a nicely made boat. They're very solid. What's your worthy. next cat going to be? Uh, a Fontaine, because it's a power cat. Okay. Good I nice. like, the, what I do like about this one is that it has, like this, this space here yeah. is more it's maximized. It's quite spacious yeah. compared right. to other ones we've looked at. Yeah, right. I agree. Yeah. It's, it's left hand driving, so it's very UK. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and there's so much storage. There is. There is a lot of storage. I'll take you through the storage. And the kids said a big refrigerator. Yeah, very there. excited. Yeah. Although this boat is basically the same size as the last boat we looked at, the layout is a bit more spacious as it is wider, which allows for a larger living area. And there's room for both of us to sit here. Yeah. Oh, isn't that romantic? Yeah. <laughs> I hear there's a lot of fights when you're when you're docking, Will. So. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Try it. I'll make sure. <laughs> Ah, uh, this has the shower back here. Yeah, so you've got room for sitting in the shower. Yeah. But there's no washing machine. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. Yeah, that's, I mean, that was never really something that was on our list. We've seen it in a couple boats and we're like, oh, that's nice, but. But look at this. Massive okay, bathroom. washing machine is nice. We might need to add that. What can this be? Most boats are. Look at this big fridge, Jess. It's designed, so nice. Uh, wow, I like it though. I like that. Anything could be had on a boat for the right price. She's big. She is big. She's really big. I think the width is really big. Wow, yeah. so you can... It feels very big when you're trying to park it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So you can overload this whole thing with solar. How many solar panels would we need on there? Well, 85? Mm -hmm. I, you got me. I, you could probably listen, put Listen, the idea, on the idea is, is to, to... To be off the grid. Is to be off the grid, so... We need more for sure. We need more. <laughs> so what I like about this boat a lot is... Now, once again, this is another sort of broad blue, so... We're going on the theme that we're not getting a trampoline here, which once again, we're totally fine with because the idea of having more storage, remember, we're gonna be here as a liveaboard. We're not here as, as a plaything. So, and I know that sort of the trampolines help you when it comes time to, if you get rough seas, if you get rough seas and sort of the, the pounding of the, the waves underneath the sort of the trampoline helps sort of displace that, that water so it doesn't sort of feel like the pounding. However, the added storage is fantastic. And with the, uh, with the other thing I like about this is that there's a lot of windows up front. Now, I know that's a common catamaran thing, but when you're looking at catamarans that are you know, 20 years old almost, you know, you're, you're, you're looking at sort of whether they were totally like decked out for the modern comforts that we have today. Um, I, I, you know, I like this a lot. <laughs> I'm getting the feeling, okay, here's, here's the real thing that I'm feeling right now. It's because everywhere we go, I like a lot. And that's a really bad thing until you have to make a decision and evaluate everything that you like a lot and figure out what you like the most. So this has been now, you know, our, our I don't know, we, we got a lot, we got a lot of talking to do Jessica and I and the kids because, you know, they're in this too. All right, you ready to go? I'm ready. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful Thank you. day. Good to see you. Hey guys, Take what care. do you say? Thank you. Take care, right? Can you thank him for sharing his dog with you guys? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> now it's time for his next nap. <laughs> Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. So that was a competition. 
Oh, that's so much bigger. That's so much bigger. It's and the it same feels size. So it is no, but isn't it wider than the last It's like one? it's it's a tad bit wider. Did I just say tad? It's a little bit wider and why does it feel so much bigger then? Um I think the layout's different. It, I think the layout's just a little bit different. However, the only thing I he needs to clean this thing. If you're gonna show a boat, you need to actually have places just a little bit more tidy. You know, but this is what I've heard about. I mean, we have vision, so we can see past the grit and grime, and we've bought and sold real estate in our time and seen some pretty scary places. But it's the same within France. They show these properties, they don't do, in the houses, they don't do any staging or anything. Nothing. Most people don't have the vision and don't want to even think about the cleaning, even though it's so easy. So I know, Largo, they had Largo. a book. Largo, would you buy it just because it had a dog once upon a time on it? If it came on with the dog, maybe. Okay. At this point, I think we can safely say that we were done. We had trekked over 2,000 miles to look at three houses and two catamarans, and if all goes well, we will soon call one home. And with that, it was time to make a decision. All right, I don't even drink coffee, but I feel the need to drink coffee right now. <laughs> we have stopped for a coffee break before our long drive back to Northern France and we have officially made a decision. Do you need a drum roll or? I think, I think that, listen, everything we liked, everything we loved, every decision that we were gonna make was gonna be the right decision, but we made a decision no matter what, and it can only be one. And we've made an offer on a place, and we're not gonna go into detail right now about why and all the logistics of why we chose what we chose, because there's gonna be a whole video about that, and it's a long story with all kinds of tidbits. So, but big we, reveal, But we made the offer on, you're shaking the camera. The first catamaran that we were at, the Broad Blue 38. Not the one that we just visited, but the one that we visited yesterday. And now I cannot wait to share so much with you guys about why we did this and everything. And oh, I just want to but tell you right now. we have to make but the offer. Well, we just made the offer. And we have to see if they agree to, because we're offering a little bit less than what they asked for. So we if have to- If they accept it. If they accept it. Just wait a minute and, and hopefully we'll get that answer real fast. So we just got an email back, and I think this is kind of important right now. <laughs> it's really important. I gotta <laughs> shut my computer. I feel like I need to breathe deeply. We just got, the offer that we made for the boat was accepted. You're kidding me. And I'm, I'm a little, no, so, oh, we want this, but I'm a little kind of like, should we go for a walk down the dock? So he basically, he said he's willing to sell it to us, and, and we're actually gonna buy a boat. He said he's willing to sell it to oh us. My the God. only stipulation is that he wants to be on the vlog. He didn't say that. <laughs> so we're wait, hold on. A so we are so we're really contemplating at this point. Well, we already we already made an offer. So this yeah, is yeah. like this, this I mean, this listen, the the point of no return was like well, I guess Why? we haven't we haven't done cash yet. Why do we seem so shocked right now? We're stuttering. Because <laughs> Because in our in our in our life, the boat was was never part of the plan. Not yet. Today. No. Not even in a month no, I mean, or we, a year? But when we went to look, about in a year, wasn't that kind of the plan? Maybe. But when we went to look oh. at it, we made that 10 hour drive. We we did know, we, I mean, we wouldn't have made the drive if we weren't really considering it. But it still seems, yeah. Okay, so we, we just- We sound like we're totally on drugs or something, but I, we're both I, like- My heart's fluttering on, on <laughs> I don't even know if we can afford this thing, <laughs> but... Um, wow, okay. What you do we do now? Make World Towning Sailing t-shirts? World Sailing! We are now in the process of buying a boat. Eek. There still needs to be a survey and a final negotiation. Were you guys surprised? So join us in the next episode as we go through the purchase process. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications icon to get the next episode the moment it is released. What, you, you this is mine. I'm, I'm, I need to think about it. Well, I mean, you guys would have to work together. Because that one has like a really, really high ceiling and gets a lot of light. Oh. God. Well, whoever's gonna be right there has to. Whoever's gonna go here has to like trek through a bathroom to get to a. This get would to be the bad. This would be such a bad thing. Mostly.